Previously on Round Sailing, we visited the Californian Channel Islands and then sailed to Newport Beach, where we shared the waters with over 9,000 boats. We couldn't sail through California without visiting Los Angeles. So we set out in the early morning to explore the city. It's about an hour and a half drive north from Newport Beach to LA. that I think most people in the world know so much about even if they've never been here like street names, names on, beach, on a beach like Beverly Hills, Hollywood we're just here for the day, rented a car this morning started with Venice Beach uh, yeah it's pretty much like what you've seen from movies and TV series Fun. It's fun to see with your own eyes. The weather is great, sunny, warm. Uh, but now I think we'll continue to, um, what was it called now, Brea Park or something like that. We're gonna watch uh, the tar pits. Venice Beach started off as an independent seaside resort town in the beginning of the 1900s, but got annexed by Los Angeles City in the late 1920s. The area used to be marshland, and during development of the resort, several miles of canals were dug to drain the area from water which also gave the area its name, Venice of America. So we're at Muscle Beach, and unfortunately the gym, the beach gym is closed. I was so looking forward to uh, do some workout today. <laughs> but I don't know, they're doing some re renovation here. So, no bodybuilders on the beach today. But it is open, Johan. One part of it. <laughs> yeah, one part of it. Well, Go ahead. I don't know. I think I take a pass today. <laughs> you have to take off your shirt and yeah. do we have some oil with us? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Pump up your muscles. Yeah. Wow. Today, Venice Beach is known for its pretty eccentric vibe. Bodybuilders flexing their muscles, roller skating bikini girls and street artists showing off their work. Gives the area a pretty special atmosphere and there is always something going on. For lunch, we decided to try out the famous Californian burger joint, in and out that's been around since 1948. So they say when you're in California, you have to eat an in and out burger. Pretty okay. First time trying in and out burgers. Good. 
We're going to check out the tar pits. It really smells of asphalt in there. So it's, uh, yeah, I think it's from the oil deposits that, oh, I think it's from the oil deposits that sits under parts of Los Angeles. And here it comes up in the lake with tar and then. Uh, of yeah, bubbling tar and asphalt coming up from um, an oil well that sits under Los Angeles about 300 meters down and uh, at this place over the years or yeah 10 to 60,000 years ago there's been trapped a lot of animals in these pits so a lot of fossils uh, from here like mammoths and saber-toothed cats say that most of the mammoths that were lost in these pits were um, were males because they lived on, on their own and not in groups so they had nobody to pull them out if they got into the tar under Los Angeles there is oil sitting and here it's oozing all the way up to the to the surface so that's why there's asphalt and tar coming up here and methane gas so it smells a lot here those colored um, flags shows what kind of animal it is and the body part so there is a leg bone from a western horse shoulder blade from a saber-toothed cat uh, and a shoulder blade from dire wolf and pelvis from uh, the harness ground stuff. Bubbling down there. I think it was bubbling. <laughs> These are some of the animals that ended their days in the tar. The museum is an active research facility with ongoing excavations. A pretty impressive amount of direwolf skulls. The biggest animals they found here are the mammoth and the American mastodon. What is your favorite animal, Malin? My favorite animal, but I actually <laughs> like the sloth that we have now in our world more. This one. It looks a bit like a mix between a sloth and a beaver or something. <laughs> Imagine those 
giant mammoths that are being trapped in the tar. Even if they're so big and strong, I don't think they could come up. Next to the museum and tar pits lays the Museum of Contemporary Art, LACMA. We didn't go inside, but the museum had a couple of cool installations outside. to Hollywood, we drove through Beverly Hills, pretending to go and meet up with Brandon and Kelly from 90210. Walk of Fame is the famous boulevard in Hollywood where the pavements are filled with celebrity stars. The place is pretty crazy. It's loud and full of people dressed up as famous characters. in Griffith Park and uh, this is where the observatory is but that one is closed today but we came here for the view right yeah it's just fantastic up here it's and this so city is just it's enormous <laughs> and I mean we only had a day with a car in here and obviously that's not enough because this city is just vast enormous but yeah. we've seen uh, some nice stuff today yeah yeah, nice places and we wanted to come up here by sunset to just see the view over the city it's so flat the whole city and uh, LA is as big as our our region where we're from in Sweden Skåne like it's like the southern part of Sweden almost it's huge yeah it's just a blanket of buildings and I think it's like I don't know 100 kilometers or something across the city so it's just, you can drive for hours within the city, so it's just something, I don't think I've ever been in a city this big or vast like this. I mean, I've been to Buenos Aires and Rio, but still this is a lot bigger, I think. So we had a great day here, right? Yeah, definitely. Now we're going to do the drive home uh, or back to Newport Beach. Yeah. I think we will, hope we will skip most of the traffic jam. Okay. 
This was the perfect way to end the day. And now we had seen another big American city. Thanks for watching! If you like our videos, you can support our production by joining our Patreon crew. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for next week's episode where we sail to San Diego.